I christen me. What's your new baby's name, Sven? Sparky. Looks like a Sparky. Herbie. Thomas. The Love Mobile. That's what this is. It's our Love Mobile. You're calling me a dork? Hey, you don't own that quite yet. It's $2,700. For 386 miserable hours of waiting tables. Congratulations. I'm ready for you. Wicked, wicked, wicked day. Okay, tonight I am taking you to the drive-in. Load up the car with some blankets, some slow gems of love. Mm, breath spray for you. Holy crap on a stick. Oh my god, I told you you were speeding. What do I do? Nice day, huh, officer? Lovely. I'm looking for Paige Mitchellchuk at this address. Michael Chuck. Um, I'm Paige. Notice to appear. You pressed charges in a sexual assault case in 2002. Wow. Um, really now? you, BB. Yeah, but it's my car. <laughs> okay, enough with the creepy undead wrestlers. Who needs more corn? This movie sure does it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll come with you. Uh, you guys need anything, you know, keep up your energy or, or fluids? Guys? More of those sour things too. Who cares about cards? Ew! Wow, um, romantic. And since I'm as hungry as Paris Hilton looks. Come on. There's no way you're surviving this flesh eating fest on your own. Did love. you see how those veins were dangling from those severed heads? I was distracted by her huge silicone investments. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. What was that for? For being so darn cute. Turn it over. Ow. Ow. For helping me move. For boring your dad's bed. Mm, for telling your dad a fantastic lie about who needed to borrow it. Um, all I know is that you owe us, Dylan, for making us do this on Labor Day, the official funeral of summer vacation. Well, consider me your living, breathing VIP pass to every dorm party this year. And the first one in, oh, only 54 hours? Grade 11 with dorm parties. Having cake, eating cake, too. And, uh, won't you be the life of my all-year party, Mr. Pouty? Yeah, like, you want to party with me? Okay, what's the problem? You're my girlfriend, that's my problem. Spinner. 
We're always with 3,000 people, and if we're not, you invite them. Um, Dylan's moving, and Marco's his boyfriend. They have to be here. We're never alone, okay? You make me feel like some kind of leopard. Leper, the word is leper. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. It won't always be like this. Really? It'll change. Once that stupid trial is finally over. Promise. Love birds. I need someone to help me in my wardrobe. And I need someone to go to Mrs. Vanelli's to get our pizza. I got the pizza part. Okay. How many boxes are left? Oh, like 25, I guess. Ah, uh, that one's safe. Hey, 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 hey. Cell wires. Serious stuff. Hey! Don't. Wait, Paige. I'm not stalking you. We're in the public park. There's people everywhere. Can we talk just one minute? So, court, huh? I'm not supposed to talk to you. It's gonna be really horrible going through it all. Your parents hearing the details. My girlfriend. Your boyfriend? It was a really long time ago. I'm sorry, I should have listened to you. It's a huge mistake. If I could go back... Do you have a point? Well, I go through this. You could tell them you don't want to testify. Skip it. It'd be that easy. They'd have to drop the case. My brother's pizza. Um. It's getting cold. Okay, but you'll think about it, right? I mean, maybe we never see each other again. And you can forget. by aliens over Labor Day weekend. And Towers and I broke up. Sorry. Sorry. Morning, Ellie. Hey, Paige. Great outfit. New year, new look, new Paige. Ellie, just because Princess Chrissy talks to you doesn't mean you have to answer. I'm going, I'm going. As usual, glad we're guys. <laughs> They're so cute. Remember when we were that afraid of Degrassi? Remember when we were that short? Remember where the principal's office is? Uh, yeah, it's, it's downstairs through the foyer and to the left. Good, go on down. I need to spend time alone with your girlfriend. <laughs> Ashley? Did you? Nice going, Craig. Really, uh, really, really smooth. Oh, hey, happy birthday, buddy. Wow, uh, you hit the mall lately? Think it was easy finding those streamers and musical notes? No, I meant your outfit. You like it? Yeah, man. And, uh, I love the locker. Thanks. No problem. Hey, man, are you dating anybody? <laughs> I'm serious. I think Paige will be mad if I put up a picture of Mandy Moore. I saw her in L.A. when that scout who liked me took the whole camp to see a Lakers game. Are you listening? Maybe Hillary Duff will be better. Why? Why would that be better? She looks more like Paige. I'd rather look like Lindsay Lohan. Aren't you at court today? I always wanted an assistant to handle my calendar. Thanks, Jim. 
But it was supposed to be tomorrow. Wait, supposed? I'm not going. Don't really see the point. I do. Okay, then you can go. You, you're really, you're not going? Nope. Can't do this anymore. Do what anymore? This. Us. What was that? Did he just dump me? Spinner! Gavin! Honeybee! You said everything would be okay with you after the trial. I don't need the trial. Look, it was one night almost three years ago. I've moved on. You know I have. Look, let's go park someplace tonight, okay? Just us. Guess I'd set a pretty bad example if I turn that down. Hey, Craig. It's usually a big load of it when so-called grown-ups give you that. These are the best years of your life stuff. But um, my wish for you, Craig, is that these really are. So happy birthday. Signing off from Thailand. Swatika. Now we cake. Hey, I am the birthday person here. And I'm dying to open my big present, Joey. Ah, oh, sorry, Angie. Craig is right. Cake will have to wait. <laughs> Happy birthday. Holy, 10 grand? Joey, I can't believe you did this. No, uh, Craig, I, I didn't. Wait, this is from my dad's estate. He specified it as a birthday gift. I guess to tide you over till your 18th when you get your full inheritance. Wow. Cake now. You okay, Craig? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Get back here. Hey, um, where'd you get this song? Her, her voice sounds like. What? You do it wrong? Thanks. Listen, I didn't mean to be all weird yesterday. No, you weren't weird. You just ignored me. Which, I guess, is sort of being weird, but not. Sorry. Now I'm being weird. Look. I was hoping we could be friends, but as soon as I saw you... You got sucked into some bizarro last year time warp? Yeah. So, good birthday? Also weird. Weird good? Well, my freak of a dad left me this check for 10 grand in his will. Are you serious? 
serious? Yeah, the guy's half eaten by worms and he's still trying to buy me. It's pathetic. Hey, your dad owes you. Maybe he was just trying to make it up a little. Well, Joey gave me this lecture about investing it for my future. Blah, 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 but I'm gonna rip the check up. I don't want it. Do you have any idea how much fun you could have with that much money? All right, grade 11. Time to start really preparing you for university math. Thanks for being here today, Mom. Well, honey, where else would I be? You're gonna do great in there. I just want this all to end. I know. And it will. When he goes to jail. Remember what we talked about in counseling, Pagey, about why we're doing this? So you could get some closure, feel heard. Paige. Hey, Paige. Hey, Missy Michael Chuck. Hello, Gavin. Ignore him, he can't hurt you. Morning, all. Rose, can I just have a minute, please? You'll be okay? I hate that guy. You should go home, Spin. I, I don't want you hearing all this. I know what happened. Not the details. When you hear them, picture it. It'll keep playing on the VCR in your head. Rewind, pause, play, rewind, pause. You can't stop it. You'll dump me, and I'll die alone with my six cats. Paige, I'll never dump you. Hello, you did it yesterday. Yeah, but that was a test. You can't dump a girl as cool as you, and you just being here doing this, it's amazingly cool. Get this over with. Ms. Michael Chuck, she go upstairs willingly with my client? Did you not, in fact, suggest it? Yeah. Why'd you do that? I just thought we. What? Play Pinochle, Crazy Aids? Objection, Your Honor. Please rephrase the question. What were your intentions, Ms. Michael Chuck, in going up to that room? I just thought we would be alone together. And you find my client attractive? Yes. I did. Before. When my client put his hand inside your blouse, did you immediately reject him? Slap him. For the record, please. No. This is very difficult for you, I know, but... When my client touched your breasts, how did you respond? Did you enjoy it? No. Well, at first, yeah. You're telling us that you did. Miss Michael Chuck, did my client ever hold a gun to your head, a knife to your throat, a grenade? No. Did he not, in fact, wear a condom? Yeah, but that doesn't make him. You could show me how he managed to open one of these and roll it onto his penis without offering you a chance to get away if you wanted to. I said no, but he is bigger than me, stronger. I, I was afraid. I'm not sure. Oh, so you don't know. How many men have you had sex with, Miss Michael Chuck? Objection. Actually, I'd like to answer that. That was my only experience. And I certainly would not have chosen to lose my virginity upstairs at a house party with a guy I'd known for an hour. Twenty sets of handmaids. Jack White doesn't go through that many strings in a year. Maybe he should. Oh. How about this? Legendary crybaby Wawa. Nice. 
thought it already made you cry enough last year. <laughs> wow, wow. Craig. Hey, sorry, that, wow, that, that was really stupid. How beautiful is this? Is that a 62 Stratocaster? Uh, 69. Master built American. Sunburst finish, classic. Rosewood fretboard. Three-way switch with phasing. Yeah, it's got all the original hardware. Yeah. I feel like I'm in church. You think you could put that back now? It's worth over four grand. Sorry. I'll take it. Yeah. <sighs> My dad would hate it. Perfect. All rise. It's good that she's ready for the verdict already, right? Sure, yeah, sure, it is. Ms. Michael Check's testimony was extremely compelling, and I want to applaud her for having the courage and the strength for doing what she did here today. It's the kind of case that keeps me awake at night, because it's not the kind a justice in my position wants to hear. Given that there are no eyewitnesses and no physical evidence, I have no choice but to find the defendant not guilty. Mr. Walton, you are free to go. Oh, yes. 